I'm Professor Ian Fraser and I'm a Professor of Medicine at the University of Queensland. I, I guess I'm known for inventing the technology that enabled the vaccine that can help prevent cervical cancer. Cervical cancer is a very common disease that kills 300,000 people worldwide every year and the intention was to get a means of preventing cervical cancer by preventing the infection which causes cervical cancer, infection with papillomavirus. We didn't set out to find a vaccine to prevent cervical cancer. We set out to build the virus in the laboratory so we could understand how it caused cervical cancer. When we built the shell of the virus and that worked, Jan and I, then I realized that if there was going to be a vaccine for cervical cancer prevention, it would be based on that technology. I think it's not so much that you set out to make an invention as you realise that you have made an invention and set out to make sure it's protected and used. We've learned that it's a good idea to think about the commercial application of your product if you're working in the biomedical space. You've got to actually solve a problem that needs solution. You've got to, to, to get a company interested in making a product, there's got to be a decent market. So that's why public health research is actually very important because it defines where there's a problem that can get fixed. And without the public health research, we would have never had a product. That's one of the big advantages for coming to Australia is that you get the opportunity to get your clinical trials done effectively without having to spend a lot of money and time. And once the product looks like it works, then you can get a further investment. I mean, there are now something like 500 million doses of this vaccine have been used worldwide over the course of the last 15 years. And there is clear data in countries like Australia that we are eliminating cervical cancer through the use of the vaccine. So the, the research has actually had a significant contribution to public health.